Are we being lied to? Is everything we watch as in recent content actually not as it seems? I'm going to show you some crazy stuff in this video, but viewer, you are the most important person. It's not important what I think. It's not important what these other people think. It's down to you. So let's go through this stuff and I really want to know what do you think about this? Is this all okay? Or is this all a surprise? Or is it not okay? Let's get into it. Now we're going to start here with Traction.gg. Traction are a YouTube channel, community, do some great stuff, some really interesting videos. But did you know, did you know that Traction is a part of Motorsport Games? It's essentially, it seems, the marketing arm of Motorsport Games. Now who are Motorsport Games? Motorsport Games own R Factor 2, they own the NASCAR license, NASCAR Ignition, they own the BTCC license for touring cars, they own the IndyCar license and loads of other stuff. They're a massive multi, multi, multi million dollar company and they own Traction. But do Traction make that clear? And is it a problem if they don't make it clear? So Traction, you know, has a lot of great sim racing content creators on its roster, makes some great stuff. And I've got nothing against the people working there at all. But did you know that Traction was part of Motorsport Games? Did you know that when Traction are covering iRacing, they're actually owned by the company that makes iRacing's biggest competitor, arguably, in R Factor 2. Did you know that when Traction are covering NASCAR Ignition, a very controversial game, that they're owned by the company that makes NASCAR Ignition? Is that just how it is? is I, I, I don't know. So I'm just a guy, I make videos in my spare time, late at night, and I release them during the week, and I have an amazing community that I've built up over years and years and years and years of racing together, learning about games together, 2,000 people in our Discord. And if I get a sponsor's item, I have to disclose, or I don't know if I have to, but I disclose in my video, say, hey, you know, this company buys an item, you should know that, and here's what I think about it. So is it... I don't know. I've, what do you think? Let me know. So, that, so that's traction. What about Overtake.gg? Overtake.gg, very similar. Great YouTube channel, lots of great content. But who owns Overtake.gg? Well, Intium GmbH owns Overtake.gg, and Intium GmbH is owned by Porsche, which is one of the biggest companies in the world. So Overtake.gg is the marketing YouTube channel of Porsche. Now, did you know that? <laughs> And if you didn't, do you care? Maybe maybe we don't care about it. I don't know. I genuinely don't know. But when Overtake GG reviews a car in ACC, the Porsche 911, and says this is the best car, is that basically a kind of advert for the car? Because the car is being reviewed by Overtake.gg, who are Porsche. So kind of Porsche are reviewing a Porsche car. So... I don't know. And, and then we have racinggames.gg. Now, racinggames.gg is owned by Gfinity PLC, which is a publicly traded company on the stock market. And I think they're, they're valued at, you know, tens of millions of pounds. So is it important to know that or not? I don't know. All, all of these channels, they purport to have great communities, but are they really communities? I, I don't know. And I don't really see these channels as my competitors, by the way. I've never looked at YouTube that way. We all subscribe to loads of different channels. But I feel like I feel like I could kind of help these channels in the way just, if they just leaned into their corporate identity, I feel like they could become real content powerhouses and they wouldn't be constrained by trying to come across as these organic communities. They could just own the fact that, hey, we're traction and we're part of the same company that owns R Factor 2 in the IndyCar game and we got great access to the developers and whatnot. But I don't know. By the way, if you do want to throw a sub this way to me on this channel, it would be incredibly appreciated. <laughs> I don't make a single penny from YouTube. Everything this channel makes goes straight back into the channel, support security, esports, all of that stuff. So any support you give this channel, a like, a subscribe, you guys are all absolute legends. But yeah, so I don't know what to think about this really. So. I kind of it just seems like a bit of an awkward place i feel like it's not that obvious that these channels these communities are owned 
by big companies. And I sort of feel like if they were just more transparent about it, it might actually be better. I don't know. I'm not really in these communities. I don't really follow them, but that's kind of what I suspect. But let me know what you think. And again, if you want to support a fully independent channel, obviously I can't compete with making videos all around the clock, all around the world. <laughs> I'm just one guy. But if you do want to do that, it's very much appreciated. And I've got nothing against traction, overtake, racing games. I love the fact they're bringing energy, they're bringing attention to sim racing, which is my passion. Lots of great people doing good stuff there. But just raising some questions about kind of how the organizations present themselves. But there we go. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you next time.